Yo, what's up? It's Redneck Joe. Um, just doing a quick video to explain my power steering setup on my Mustang. This is the only thing that I figured out that worked because I kept blowing um, Ford power steering pumps and racks like left and right. I probably went through five racks and 10 pumps. Just keep warrantying them, you know? So this has worked every single time. As soon as I figured it out, worked the whole season. And uh, here it is. So this is... Um, Power steering, or it's an AC delete kit from Ford Performance. It just moves the power steering pump up. This bracket is from um, Wild Horses. Um, it adapts a factory Ford um, power steering pump bracket to a Saginaw. And this is the Saginaw pump they sell. Um, it goes to a dash six AN fitting. These hoses are ones that you could uh, make cut the length and make yourself. They sell them on Amazon. Um, pardon the mess. I'm taking the motor out right now. This is a external pressure relief valve, which you could dial in the pressure you want. Uh, they sell it on Summit. Uh, they sell it on Summit. It's about 100 bucks. Could be double that now. So I went through that. Um, it relieves back into the return line. So the return line actually just goes through this. Um, after it comes, well, goes into the rack, which I adapted to in. And I'm just using a factory um, outlet return tube. I go into a Durali cooler. Uh, it's a plate style. I actually called the rally and asked them what to use. And they said that this one's used by FD cars. So I figured it'd work for me. Um, inline filter. That seemed to help a lot. Uh, this also has dual fans on it. It's shrouded. Um, if you, I did burn out one pump and it's because I didn't, I forgot to turn the fans on. I got really hot and burned out the pump. But after that, I flushed it, ran that, and this whole setup has been mint. And that's actually like an Amazon cheapo pump. Um, I ran a smaller filter at one time. It's like a really small, it's, it had it was like magnetic and it just had like a screen in it and it plugged up and then I blew the line before the filter. So you're gonna wanna run the bigger one. Also, uh, when you run it, this setup, you have to have the pulley partially pulled off the shaft. Like you align it with the rest of your belt. That's what they said to do. And this pulley is actually a Dorman 300-200, which is one inch larger than the one they give you with this pump. And that will just spin it slower. Um, the ID has to be taken down like two hundredths with a uh, lathe. So... That's pretty much it. It has worked amazing for me. Uh, I was blowing so many pumps. I put this electric one in it just as a backup in case I was at the track because I, you know, rented the track one day and blew a pump two laps in. But um, as far as part numbers go, I forget which one this one was. But I will add it in the description, the Durali cooler. It's like a $250 cooler. It's amazing, though. I used to have like a tranny cooler style and uh, barely worked. So hope this helps. It took me a lot of money just to figure this out and it's worth it. Like it's fucking bulletproof. I know this bracket is a hundred bucks. Pumps you can get for like a hundred bucks. Uh, this is a hundred dollars. Cooler is 250. These lines, I think the line is uh, 25 and then each side of the fitting is 25 as well each so it's a bit of money to set up but it's proven and definitely works thanks a lot guys have a good one happy drifting